Kali Yuga. Sure. So one who's studying Hatha Yoga, mm -hmm. he has what we call somewhat of Mahabhati mm -hmm. philosophy. Sure. Because when you try, his aim is to become one with God. That business, if he complete it, he can merge into the Brahma Jyoti, which is called the Afrosha. It's by understanding Jiva, that he's non-different than Krishna, mm -hmm. but he's a one small part of the automatic particle. So being the soul is never inactive. He's always active. So therefore he can merge into the Brahma Jyoti, mm -hmm. and he sit there, he can witness, and he can stay for some time. But he's not satisfied, because that is not the nature of soul. Mm -hmm. They have what they call sabanda. Mm -hmm. That means relationship. Mm -hmm. So Krishna also has relationship. So that is what Jiva tried to reclaim that relationship in five different ways. Mm -hmm. So in this way, when we're studying other philosophies, I'm just saying, no, nothing's wrong, but one has to actually surrender. But without Guru, according to Sastra, mm -hmm. you, like, you, got, you had the Gani. And who they're, who they're searching for? They're searching for the absolute truth. Sure. So, in this way, these people are coming, they are here. If you are devoted and you're trying to hide the Krishna, name's so powerful, you should give it according to what Sastra is saying, without deviation, mm -hmm. not putting a twist on it. Sure. Do the karma. Would not allow some people to come. Okay. To be able to hear. When you hear when the guru, the bonafide guru, direct from Krishna, sure. is giving a whistle in that mantra in your ear, mm -hmm. then one can attain. By the mercy of Srimad Raharani, she gives devotion to service in that respect. But on your own, when we're here and we're there, mm -hmm. without bonafide guru, it's lost. Sure. You understand yeah, what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah. So eventually, whatever that Prakriti, that's the Prakriti here mm -hmm. in the heart, right. eventually you continue to chant the Maha Mantra. Mm -hmm. and eventually it's so powerful, you will come around and realize what is Bhagavad Gita. And that discourse actually started over a female. That war began over a female. Drupadi. When they were trying to unrobe her in this simile, when, uh, when they fought, when the Pandava was being cheated at the dice game. So they tried every discourse that was. But during the dharma, the uh, Pandava uncle mm. told them, I will not give you one, uh, not even enough land that a pen would fit. Mm -hmm. And when they were trying to undress Mother Drupadi, <laughs> that was the bottom. Mm. That was the end. The loss of let's human civilization right <laughs> there. Let's come on in. We're going to have to get it on yeah, right was, now. That was over. Mm -hmm. So Krishna is saying we are all spirit soul, but as long as you're on the body, you can set in life. Mm -hmm. You can never understand. Sure. So they have to give your heart to Krishna, just like a, 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 a fruit. It get right, you can pick the fruit. So without guru, everything seems almost useless. Sure. But the difference is, the jiva is eternal. Mm -hmm. Even the demons that don't surrender to the Lord, even he's so kind. That he rectified them and bring them back, mm -hmm. and they become devotees. You understand? Yeah. Everything is the Supreme Lord. So when you how to get how to get the shakti, but one who truly truly interested, mm -hmm. how to transcend repeated birth and death. When you get kicked so much, like you've been kicked in the past. So Have you now, been kicked in the past? Oh yeah. All right, cool. So cool. doing that kick you got, you took to this hatha yoga. Even now that that's you're trying to meditate on that own supreme pertaining to Krishna himself alone. Mm -hmm. You have got some relief from the pains and the pains of material nature. Krishna speaks this in Srimad Bhagavatam. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. But don't stop there. It goes forward. Mm -hmm. Now I can look at my life where I came from and where I'm at right today. Sure. I will access on what gangster at time in my life. <laughs> that's a fact. I was into martial arts. Let me see your knuckles. Let me see your knuckles. Knuckles don't mean jack, but it's what, what the consciousness of what I can do with him. Okay, okay. Age don't have a thing. It's just about the conscious of the mind. So, he become the warrior, not the other dress. The demigods are actually controlling every movement by the way of Krishna. 
So what do they want to accept Krishna, Buddha, Allah, Jehovah? Sure. We're not the cause of nothing. We're depending on the message of someone else. So Krishna proclaimed himself to be the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But be different six opponents. Mm -hmm. Who on this planet do you know that contains all beauty, mm -hmm. all fame, mm -hmm. all renunciation, and all wealth, and all beauty? How many people you going to name that has that? But in this age of Kali you, mm -hmm. people have nice, good looking bodies, nice face, mm -hmm. but they're bored of one thing. They're subject to illusion, imperfect senses. Limited how much you can think for yourself. Propensity to lie and the propensity to cheat. So who's qualified? And you spoke about the heart. Mm -hmm. Percent, percent. You have to uh, seek that person to have already surrendered to the Lord. Who, in other words, they come directly from the spiritual world here. They're called Manjaris. Mm -hmm. They are personal service, servants of Srimad Raharani for one purpose together the fallen soul. Mm -hmm. Out of many, many birth, as you get beaten, kicked so much, and you say, oh my dear Lord, I can't do this no more. Mm -hmm. And we become serious and turn our faith to the Lord. Why? He's seated in the heart of Paramatma. Listen to every word you say. Know exactly what you're feeling and what you need. So that by that arrangement, do Sri Maharani come to sing that majority. You are here, call my great Mahatma. Because you're chanting the holy name. You're trying to give. So now we must become well versed. Must find guru and surrender to him. I don't mean guru that's got a whole lot of kamakanda, what I'm saying. <laughs> he got business over here. He got business <laughs> over there. Sorry. Sorry. That's not guru. Yeah. Sorry. So he's a direct extension from Krishna. And yeah. when you see him, you will know who he is. You mm. gotta understand. He's not ordinary human being. Mm -hmm. He's got so much shock today you can't stand it. Yeah. Wow. Find that guru moves mm -hmm. and what he's asking you to do. He's never accepting anything for himself. He only accepting everything for Krishna. Yeah. All he ever talk about, all he ever see, 24-7, is Krishna. Mm -hmm. Everything he meant for the pleasure of Bhagavan, Krishna. You understand? So whatever it is that you want, you must have occupation. What we call gang karma bhakti. You have to work simply for body maintenance. Sure. That gang karma bhakti means that you have to perform that form just to support, just to stay alive. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we have to learn just the different different limbs of bhakti. But if you don't know what bhakti is, you can't do bhakti. Everyone has bhakti here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a flower that's closed up like that. Mm -hmm. And just as soon as one began to practice mm -hmm. from a Siksha Guru or Diksha Guru, that well versed on the Vedantas, mm -hmm. and you can surrender. And the more you chant, the more c that will come. Okay. That Mother Bhakti will come to the heart on its own accord. You have to do nothing. Yeah. And it will develop. Everything you're seeking will be in your face and you will blow you away. Oh my God. I'm <laughs> speaking this way, I experienced a lot of things in my 50 years. And when I died downstairs mm -hmm. and left my body, by the Guru mercy and the Vaishnava, Krishna mm -hmm. took me somewhere else and I saw other things. Mm -hmm. And I'm not the same person that I was. And I understand I'm so. Yes, I still had the frailty of him and a human body. Mm -hmm. I'm not completely bored of all types of desire. Yeah, I have some. But everything that comes, I'm trying to use it in the Lord's service. In other words, I'm trying to become fixed up. Because so people who speculate and concoct and think they know, they don't know. That's not what you think. Mm. In the spiritual world, you way beyond your comprehension. Yeah. Mm. There's a past pastime that's going on between the Lord and Radha against the Sakis. Their personal servants. Their activity there is so vast. Mm -hmm. There's so many varieties of activities. But the most important, that bliss is ever increasing there for all living entities. The Vakunta planets are so vast. The post on Lord Narayan, mm -hmm. Lord Nishingadev, mm -hmm. even 
I mean, Aodia, where Lord Ram presides. Mm -hmm. You understand where Jesus Christ presides. Where also Lord Buddha. You understand. Mm -hmm. He's incarnation of Vishnu. Mm -hmm. So all these people, I don't believe in God. So they give him Buddha what he's asking for. They become mm -hmm. peaceful, mm -hmm. respectful, wow. and they become saintly. The Lord is smarter than his own creation. Do you understand? Then how who, who could create that? Mm -hmm. Look at the sun mounting the wheel of time. Mm -hmm. Who can do that? You understand? Mm -hmm. So the material world is compared like a big rain cloud. You see a nice and fair day, sun and everything. All of a sudden, you see a, a big dark cloud. See, that's like the material world, or one fourth of all creation is the material world. And by the, the Vishnu impregnate mm -hmm. the living entity there, simply for Krishna to come to rescue us. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. If you can realize everything is meant for the pleasure of Krishna, do you understand? Mm -hmm. It's difficult because we're suffering so much here. Mm. No. I'm gonna